I've been talking about my work in general and specifically two projects that I'm working on right now. Um, first of all, uh, I've been talking about how the group, I'm a part of a collective and how the group developed and what kind of work we've done through the years, with particularly on, uh, on art and as part of everyday life, uh, using everyday objects to communicate and so forth. Uh, my interest in uh, building confined spaces, small houses, affordable houses and so forth. And I've been talking about two projects that I'm working on right now. One is uh, a very cheap way, a very low cost way to uh, start living on the water. Uh, another one is uh, a new way of living a nomadic life, an up-to-date version of uh, the traditional Roma um, carriage, just uh, a walking house, but definitely that walks uh, that work, walks on six legs. I'm, I'm living an everyday life that integrates artistic practice, meaning that uh, Art is somehow functional, in this, both in a philosophical sense, but also in a practical sense. Objects I, I create would, would have like an everyday meaning to me. I mean, I would be able to, to, to use them for something practically. I think we should somehow start a discussion of how we could create public planning and architecture and art in a way that would activate people themselves. Uh, and I think Christiania is a very good example because it's it's one of the places in Copenhagen where, where there's most most space for people that are you know different. So what I, I think what we need is like a load of Christianias all over Copenhagen where people could decide for themselves where there's simple rules that they have to apply to. That's a much better strategy. And the beauty of that is that we don't need planners for that in the long term. We don't need architects in the long term, and we don't need artists because art architecture. Planning should be part of people's everyday life, part of their own decision making.